Let's begin by opening up Editing 101 Project, which is in your work folder in the Biking Project. Go ahead and open that up. The clip monitor is more than just looking at the clips. We can do things there. For example, let's reopen Dirt Bike from Project Assets up here by double clicking and open it up in the clip monitor. I'll make that a little bit bigger for us. I don't want to use the whole 48 seconds. I need just a little bit. But I want to decide where it begins and ends. That's setting in and setting out right here. Now I can do it a couple of ways. I can come over here and grab this little icon right here. And as I drag it, now it will show me where I am, which is nice. And say right there, it gets into that dip right there. And that's where I want it to start. Now the reason it jumped back is it jumped back to where the playhead was. And I want my out point to be maybe somewhere similar to that, like when he's dipping in right there. So for whatever reason, that's what I want. So I've set my in and my out points. I can close this out. If I drag this from here onto my timeline, say we'll put it right at the front. And if we play it, as you can see, it's playing from that one point to the next point. And it will stop where we told it to set the out point. So you can do this. Very easy to do. Let me go ahead and stop it there. Let's open it up again. Actually, let's get rid of this one first. Another way you can do this is by using the playhead. So if I right click my mouse in this area, I can say clear clip markers in and out. So we're kind of back to scratch. I can look at by scrubbing and kind of doing the same thing, really. And say, okay, ah, yeah, I want it right about there. And then if I say set in, it will go to wherever the playhead is. If I come over to about here and say set out, it will go to wherever the playhead is. This little icon right here, let me see if I can highlight that for you. That little option right there. If you click and drag it, it will keep the amount of time you've decided, but it will allow you to move it to the left or to the right. And while we're here, these two little buttons right here and right over here. If I click and drag those in, I'm stretching the timeline out. If I want it to be bigger for control, I can do that. Let's go ahead and right click here and let's clear them again. I need 10 seconds exactly. Now I know where I want it to start, but obviously it's a video. I can't say it ends here and that's 10 seconds. So I'm going to move my playhead to where I want it to start. Again, maybe start in that same dip right there. And I'll say set in. Now I've got 7.17. If I come into this area right here and add 10 to that, so that would be 17. 17. Got that by accident. Type in 17, semicolon, 17. The playhead moves 10 seconds down. I can then set out, and now I have a 10 second one. Go ahead and close it. Move it down here, and you've got 10 seconds. Now I won't play it, you get the idea. How about this? Andy, I'm going to be using this clip kind of in and out. I'm going to intersperse it with this one right here. So I'm going to need a couple of these at maybe 10 seconds, different areas, a couple at five seconds. I've got it all down in my script. I know what I need. But does that mean every time I want to change it, I've got to change it up there? Well, there's two ways we can change it. If I do drag it back down again, remember this is non-destructive editing, which I love. If I go to the edge right here, see how the cursor changes? and drag if there's anything to expand it out to, I can. So that would be one way to change what you did up here. But let's do it this way. Let me get rid of that one. This clip is 10 seconds. Actually, it's 10 and one frame. So that's close to 10. That's close enough for me. I need another clip that's 20 seconds. Or maybe I want another clip that's the full clip, and I don't want to change it down on the timeline. If you right-click your mouse, go down to Duplicate. If we double click on this one, say we come in here and right click and tell the computer we want to clear the markers in and out. 
Let's come over here and change the name. Let's get rid of the word copy on the end and to the right of bikes and type in like full clip. This one, well, it already says 10 seconds right here, so I don't know if I need to really change that or not. But we now have this one. Have we increased the size of our document, our project? No. All these are are pointers to the original file and how we want to use it. So if I drag this one down, I get my 10 seconds. If I drag this one down, I get the full thing. I can keep that up all day long. So if you're working with clips and you need to clip them in different areas and you don't want to keep going back to the original, just make a duplicate, put it in whatever frame of reference you want, and when you drag it down, it'll be exactly what you want it to be. Let's not forget to go up to the word file and click save before we end this lesson.